Warm up. For today's warm up, we're going to start with our skipping rope. If you don't have a skipping rope, you're going to do simulated skips. So you're going to pretend you have a skipping rope and follow along exactly the same way. We're going to start with 30 single skips. Let's start now. So we'll all go together. So what we're going to focus on as we're doing the single skips is our elbows are in nice and close to our hips. It's our wrists that are spinning the rope and our hands are just out in front of our hips and it's one jump per skip. Once you've completed your 30 single skips, just place your skipping rope off to the side. Now that we've completed our 30 single skips, we're going to move into 20 calf pumps. With a calf pump, we're going to place our hands down onto the floor. I pike my hips up into the air. From there, I drive one heel down, bend the opposite knee. I then swap over, drive it down. If that's not enough stretch through the calf, we can bring our feet back. The further you come back, the more stretch you get through the calf. We're aiming to gently kiss the heel into the ground as we drive that heel down. Get down now and do 20 calf pumps. Drive one heel down and bend the opposite knee to get that pressure down into that calf. Once you've done your 20 calf pumps, just standing up. The next one we're going to do is 10 good mornings. So with a good morning, our feet are under our hips. We hinge over at our hips, keeping this nice flat back position. Until you feel a good loading through the hamstrings, we then squeeze the quads and glutes to stand up tall. We're gonna do 10 reps. Every rep, we're gonna drive through the hips and squeeze those quads and glutes to stand up tall. Do 10 good mornings now. After you've done your 10 good mornings, then we're going to move into six pigeon lunges. So with a pigeon lunge, we take a big lunge forward, we then place one hand on each side of our leg, we then lower our hip onto the floor, keep this hip up off the floor, lean forward, hold for two to three seconds, we then lift the knee up, stand up, and then we swap sides. Six reps in total, three on each leg. Do your six pigeon lunges now. Once you've done your six pigeon lunges, that's the end of the range of motion phase. So with the specific phase, we're going to move through a couple of things. First thing we're going to move through is we're going to grab our skipping rope and we're going to move through single skips if you're doing single skips, double unders if you're doing double unders, or star jumps if you're doing star jumps. We're going to start with 10 reps, double unders, single skips, or star jumps. Go. While you're moving through your single skips, double unders or star jumps, listen in for the next part of the warm up. The next part of the warm up, we're going to move into V ups or hanging knee raises if you've got a bar. We're going to do five reps. So V up, hinging from the hip, touching the toes above the hips, five reps, or we're going to do five hanging knee raises if you've got access to a pull up bar. Raising the knees up into the chest, keeping that nice tight line in the body. Once you've finished your double unders or single skips, do five of those. Once you've done your five hanging knee raises or V-ups, we're then going to move into five clean and jerks. You're going to use a less weight if you're doing barbells, so you're going to use an empty barbell as an example. If you're using an odd object, you're going to do four reps with the odd object. Do that now. Once you've done the clean and jerks, you're then going to do that for one more round. Ten of the skips or star jumps, five of the V-ups or knee raises. You can do toes to bar in round two if you're doing toes to bar. And then finishing with five clean and jerks with an unloaded barbell or your odd object. Once you've done that, that's the specific phase of the warm-up done. Then what you're going to do, you're going to give yourself about three to five minutes Grab yourself a drink. You're gonna start warming your barbell up to the weight you're going to do in the workout. Remember, it needs to be something that you could do for 10 in a row. You're then going to warm up any other movement that you haven't quite warmed up yet. And then you're gonna get ready to start the workout of the day. Once you're ready to start the workout of the day, you need, to, you need a couple of things. You need something to time you 
because what you need to do in this workout is time each round. So how it will work, three, two, one, go. You'll start your first round. You'll do your 40 double unders. You'll do your 20 V-ups or toes to bar. You'll do your 10 clean and jerks. Bang, that's your first time. You write that time down on a pen and paper or whiteboard or whatever you have, and then you must rest only or exactly one minute, and then you'll start round number two. Then you'll do round number two. You'll write that time down. Rest one minute, and you'll do that for all four rounds. And when it asks for your score and be on the whiteboard, it'll ask for the four times that you saw on the clock. It will work out the maths for you. So it'll ask for the four times that you saw on the clock. If you do have any questions whatsoever about how to conduct this workout or what you have available and therefore have to scale to or on how to score it, please hit me up at kobe at crossfitabode.com. Have fun.